So the first part of the study guide is to know your first and second declension. So I'm going to set up my chart here with singular and then my plural for the first, and then I'm going to do my singular and plural for the second. My case endings, I have the nominative, and then so the singular would be A, and then the plural would be AE, then this would be US or R, and then this would be I for the plural. Going down, our next case is the genitive, AE for the singular, RM for the plural, I for the singular, RM for the plural. Notice RM, RM, how they follow a similar pattern that sometimes, sometimes can help you recognize cases. AE repeats, and it's is here, then it's O, and then S here. Notice how for the data plural it is the same. Uh, then our accusative case, this one is om um and os, and very similar, it's um oom and os. So if you can start recognizing that kind of pattern, that will help you in Latin. And then lastly, the ablative is A, and that would be the long A with the macron, and then S, and then O, and S. Notice how the dative and ablative plurals are identical for both. All right, Latin English for specto. So you'd have specto, which would be I watch, and then the next one is spectos, which is you, singular, watch. Then it's spectat, which is he, she, or it watches. Then you have spectamus, which is we watch. Then we have spectatus, which is you, plural, watch. And then you have spectant, which is they watch. Notice how it changes from an O to an A, which is your stem vowel for this. So vocabulary, I will not go through with you guys uh, because you can look that up. I don't want to waste time on the video. It's all in the Quizlet on for Unit 1 vocab and it should all be there. So this is parts of speech. So underline the uh, for each of the underlined word labeled their part of speech, noun, adjective, verb. So Mr. Davis often need, feeds Rex, Rex fresh fish. So fresh here is modifying the noun fish. So this would be an adjective. And then which he, he is a pronoun because it replaces the noun uh, for Mr. Davis. O is always an interjection. This has no grammatical function. At home, I have forgotten my homework at home. This is a preposition. It's giving the relationship of two nouns. Mr. Carpenter, Mr. Carpenter is a noun. And loves would be a verb. Rex often helps, often is an adverb. It's telling how modifying helps. And and is a conjunction. It brings two things together. So adding another clause there. If you are having problems on this test, vow to the gods. So you is a pronoun, replaces the noun. And then gods are a person, place, or thing. So that would be a noun. All right. So the uh, we'd have an O over here. So let me get this cursor in the right place. So girls would be the subject. Well, I guess I'll do it from the top. Girls are the subject. So it'd be nominative case. Were is the verb, and are working is the whole verb. Sorry. So the girls are working. There's no direct object here. Uh, next sentence. You are looking, that would be your verb, at many islands. What you're looking at is the direct object in the accusative case. Then I like, so I would be the subject. Like would be the verb. The good land would be the accusative direct object. Notice the pattern here. You have subject, verb, direct object uh, in all these sentences, which makes it a little easier to identify. He is the subject, does not love, this would be your verb, the girls, this would be your direct object. We see good slaves, so we is my subject, see would be my verb, 
and slaves would be my object going through. Notice that pattern. So same thing. Now, this is X over the nominative and O over the accusative. So remember, in a Latin sentence, the word order doesn't matter. So you really have to look at the case endings. So for your nominative, you're looking for A, A, E, U, S, R, and I. And for your accusatives, you are looking for om, os, um, or os. So this is an A, E, so it's going to be nominative. These are os, so this is going to be accusative. And then parant is my verb. Again, coming here, om would make this accusative. A would be nominative, and this would be my verb, portant. So AE is a nominative ending. Magni is a, oops, sorry, I missed my verb. Right past it. Soon is my verb. This member takes nominative on both sides. And then aquam is my accusative case. And then my verb is over here, which would be how bent? Okay, this is tricky. This is a tricky sentence. In Sicilia, this is technically an ablative, so I'm going to ignore that. Um, and then I got to change this typo. This should be few. Oops. Should be few girls. Ah. I get cursors all over the place. Should be few girls right here. I had that the wrong gender there. So I fix that. And then this would be nominative, then this over here would be my verb, and then this would be accusative with the os in the right spot, and then this would be my another verb in the sentence. All right, so review Europa. I will do a video on Europa, and so hopefully I'll have that posted soon. And so now we're just going to write the number for these. So x is 10. And then ix would be 9, so 10 plus 9 is 19. x is 10 again. i before the v would be 4, so that's 14. x is 10. v, i would be 6, because you, you add them together, that's 16. Uh, then again, i before v is just 4. And then over here, we have i before x would just be 9, because you subtract smaller numbers before. 2i's is just 2. xx is 20 plus 1 is 21. l is 50. 50 plus x plus x, so 50 plus 10 plus 10 is 70. And then a 1, so 71. Uh, over here is lxxv, so that would be 85. So 50 plus 30 plus 5. Then this would be 50 plus 10 plus 10, 70 plus 5 plus 1. So that would be 76. C is 100 before M. So that makes 1,000 minus 100 is 900. And then 3. So D is 500. And then CCC is 300. So that would be 500 plus 300 is 800. Then X before L, that would be 40. That would be 50 minus 10. That would be 9. C, X, X, V, I. So that's 230. So three X's and V, I, six. And three M's would be 3,000. Three C's would be 300. L, X, X would be 80, 50 plus 30. And then two. So that's how you Roman numerals. All right, our story. So this would read, Troy is in Asia. The province of Troy is... The Trojans, sorry, provinces of Troy are in Asia. In the provinces of Troy are forests. In the lands of Troy, there are farmers. Troy is the fatherland of the farmers. In the land of the farmers, there are houses. The women of the farmers are in the houses. So that's the sentence. So where is Troy? Troy is in Asia, if you see up here. So Troy is in Asia. Uh, so the answer would be C. Where are the forests? The forests are in the province, so Silwa. So the provinces of Troy, there are forests. Whose father? Whose fatherland is Troy? It'd be of the farmers, so the fatherland of the farmers, again, up here. 
And then where are the wives of the farmers? And they are in the houses. So the women of the farmers are in the houses. So that was your sentence. So this concludes the video for uh, the study guide. I hope you found that helpful. Uh, good luck studying. Well, late omnes.